Hey guys, what's up? It is your friend, Little Rubus here, back again with another Isaac Breaking on this time we're starting with Cricket's head. Uh, a little bit weird. D technical difficulties, or at least a, a technical scare, uh, momentarily, at the immediate beginning of the episode. But here we are, we have Cricket's head, no big deal. Didn't miss anything, just shot two fires and uh, picked up the item, and we're, we're here. Good to go. So I know I've done a few Cricket's head runs recently. And they all kind of end up being the same way, which is kind of bland and very uh, just damage focused and not really, you know, not really breaky, achy, breaky heart, etc. Um, but uh, my year may not be four hours until this video is supposed to go up, so it's just uh, I don't I don't have time to re-roll for you know a half hour or whatever. I mean I probably have enough time to re-roll for a half hour. I just would rather not. So, growth hormones is sick, sweet, awesome, let's go. I'll be honest with you, it's it's tough to actually find time to record these at the current moment with all the people in the house. All the people! My brother and his girlfriend are actually staying the night because my brother has a dentist appointment in the early morning out here in the suburbs. And so they're just staying the night because it's easier that way. And then, like I said before, my uncle is in town and staying in our house. So, a lot of people. I'm in a weird spot. Everything's weird. But we're good. Here we are, recording videos for you, you hooligans on the internet to I don't know, masturbate to, probably. How many people do you think on the internet just kind of like whack it to whatever, you know? It's like kind of like a mindless sort of thing, you know? Because not every, not every sesh has to be necessarily uh, meaningful, you know? Sometimes you're just like, yeah, whatever, I'll whack off. Like... I don't know, does it ever make you think that, like, there have been... I mean, I mostly think that about this for, like, you know, people who are in the, uh, the porn business. Do you, do you ever think that they actually think about, like, how many people have whacked it to, you know, their horrific acting and... I mean, obviously that's not what they're whacking it to, but <laughs> let's, let's be real here. But, you know, like, is that, I don't know, that might be a weird thing to think about. I don't know. Sometimes my mind just wanders and I think about weird shit. It happens. It happens to the best of us. Uh, also, can I just say, our damage is absurd. This is just unrealistic damage. It's so awkward! Ugh. Because it'll ruin our damage. I'm going to take it, though. Just because of the consumables and the tier rate that we're going to get from it. I'm sure those pills are incredible. No thank you, though. I mean, like, our damage is obliterated, but now our tier rate is pretty good. Yeah, we're back to two-shotting spiders, which is a little bit frustrating, but whatever. I don't think it's a big deal. I think our DPS is more or less the same. It feels that way, at least. I knew you'd hit me with that. I knew it. Didn't take red art damage, though. I will take speedball, because it's a speed up, which means all of my stats go up. I'm going to reroll that. It's a pretty good reroll. Use it once just to have some excess. Uh, where did we go on this floor? We already went here? Yeah, we did. Mm, we haven't gone to the right. That's correct. That was still two shot. Or no, it was one shot before, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Well, it's two shot now. That's still reasonable. Alright, apparently there is no other direction to go. Let's, uh, let's leave. Could go to our shop, but I don't really see the necessity. Alright. Into this shit. I'm gonna bomb this just because 
I have way more bombs than keys, and it blows up some shrooms. Tears down, huh? Wow, I'm not getting great pill luck. I'll be real with you. I don't want to get a PhD though. PhD would be insane. Because every stat up hill when you have Libra is incredible. Because, right, there's not a damage up one. So, you know, range up, tears up. And obviously, luck up is just always great. But, you know, and health up is always great as well. It's just like. I'm mostly referring to the tear up range up. Harlequin baby. I'm gonna say no thanks right now. I'm gonna see what we got in here first. There's a battery. Yeah, I'm just gonna re-roll this. Unicorn stump A. No thanks. Alright. Judas' shadow is black. Bunch of nickels. No dimes, no counterfeit penny. Ugh, this is awful, actually. Holy crap. Well, now we gotta backtrack through the room with spikes that I'm gonna walk over almost assuredly. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go. That's better than Cartridge. I mean, Cartridge can be good, but it requires you to get hit. And you all know my my feelings about, you know, items that have no effect until you get hit. They're shit, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And the worst thing is, Cartridge is luck-based, and you have to get hit. It's just the worst of everything. There's not a worse trinket. Well, that's not true. There are trinkets that do basically nothing, or literal nothing. I would like enough rooms to reroll. It doesn't appear as if that's gonna happen though. That's a bit frustrating. We could get Krampus, I guess, and Krampus would. Uh, it would give us the required rooms. It's just so awkward to have to rely on Krampus, you know? But, I guess. Don't really have a choice at this point. Wow, got that this horseman as well. I am not doing great on the luck factor in this run. Alright, that's two hits from a completely avoidable burst of tears that I saw coming from a mile away. Right, now the pony's dead, so we're good. No deal at all! Super lose. That's so bad. I remember the spikes, I did it. I did it! I guess we're taking this and that and leaving. This sucks. Eh, let's go to the library. The library. I mean, there's no downside to going to the library, right? We have so many keys, it's not really a bad thing. And we could get a room like this. Book of Sin might actually be beneficial. I'm grabbing them all to remove them from the pool. Just a reminder that <laughs> books are not removed from the pool unless in the library unless you, um pick them up, which makes no sense, but whatever. So I picked them all up. They're all gone from the pools. They should never see a single one of those books ever again. Uh, so potentially in future libraries, we can actually re-roll into like a quad item room, for example. I didn't even notice this. I didn't think there were rocks in this room. There weren't rocks in this room, were there? Why are there now rocks in this room? What the fuck? All right. Sure. I mean, okay. There were rocks in that room, right? I'm not imagining that. I don't think there were rocks in that room. I thought the room was just straight empty. Like, I walked around, like, freely. I didn't get hung up on it. I don't know. I'm lost. That was so bizarre. Am I having a stroke? Am I losing my mind? I hope not. I assume not. Can I please just go the forward direction? Thanks. I've seen that before, though, with boss rooms. 
where the layout will just drastically change between fighting the boss and after the boss is dead and you go back into it. I've seen that, but I've never seen it so dramatic. Like, day and night, you know? Like, going from no rocks to rocks is bizarre. Wow. Alright, well, this is a sweet room to get into after immediately picking up the x-ray goggles. X-ray vision, same thing. Yeah, luck up, sure. I always am a fan of the luck up. No tinted rocks, that's fine. There is a tinted rock there that I actually can access, which is weird. Normally you'd think, well, it's in the middle of the room with pits, but uh, the room layout is actually in such a way that I should be able to access this pretty easily, I think. Right, because if I just bomb here, it should work just fine. And it does. Nice. That's actually really cool. I actually don't know how that would work if it was a small rock. I'm assuming the same way, but I don't know if there's like some specific oddity having to do with it being small rock and like, you know, not counting as a, as a, a rock, kind of like the explosive ones don't. Jesus. Alright, we're fucked. <laughs> this is the room where we take a trillion damage. I feel it. Yeah, there's one hit. I, okay, there's two. Yeah. This room is bullshit. This is beyond bullshit, actually. This room is so fucking terrible. Excuse me, I didn't actually go anywhere near those spikes. I know you're saying that I did, but I don't believe you, and I will call bullshit. Like that, I was close to the spikes on that one, and I didn't get hit. Whatever, this fucking sucks, I hate this game. <laughs> Jump to me, there you go. Let's just blow it up here. I'm blowing it up here, because I'm fucking weird, or something. Thank you. I've recovered my hearts, we're good. Dark one, sure. Dark, dark one. Dark one's not too bad. Incoming damage. As usual. I mean, this time I don't have, like, super high tier rate or burst tiers or anything to, you know, hard knock him into me. It's more of a gradual sort of thing now. With my current rate. I didn't get hit for the first time. How do I not get a deal with the devil? God damn it. Whatever. Reroll. Whatever, sure. It was pheromones. Okay. The room with two pills, it was pheromones. Sure. I guess I'm going to the shop. Or maybe in search of another library? I'm not sure. I gotta do something with all these batteries. And by the way, I only took caffeine pill because uh, I know of at least one good pill that I have in my rotation, which is luck up. And... It also increases the speed stat, which in turn increases all of my stats. Um, I will take this shit in an instant. It's still awkward because it doesn't utilize the battery. In fact, it kind of makes batteries worse, but it's a really good item. I can't really pass it up. Yeah, let's see what we got in here. Loop, loop, loop. More hearts. Not getting cursed in the maze now. Huh? Okay, well, had to say something, didn't I? <sighs> Layout switched as well. Mm. Stop talking, alright? Stop talking. I wonder if you guys can actually hear my dog story. Poor guy's exhausted from a long day. Long day being a dog. Oh, that's so good. Okay. And I'm holding on to this pill, fuck, in hope of getting PhD or, uh, what is it, Virgo? I haven't gotten it in so long. I think it's Virgo. So, at the, you know, if that ends up happening, then this will become a range up pill, which will increase all my statistics. Mm -hmm. Different room layouts. Okay, sure. I'm now very lost. I only once have had to experience a uh, Curse of the Maze combined with an Amnesia pill. And it was nightmare.
nightmarish. It was so just horrific. I couldn't handle it. I mean, like, I pretty much just, like, brute forced through it, right? Like, there was no real rhyme or reason. I just kind of, like, walked until I fucking found the exit. It was awful, though. Awful. And if you don't know why that's bad, Curse of the Maze, first of all, it used to not even have any sound effect or any visual effect or anything. Like, if it... And this was back then. Um, it used to just be, like, and different, right? Like, it would just move you on the map um, without, like, you know, telegraphing it or telling you or anything, basically. The only way you could know is if you looked on the map or you actually recognized that it wasn't the same room that was supposed to be there. Um, and it, it did also transplant rooms, which it still does. Um, so, it wasn't enjoyable. Uh, you know, because there was absolutely no way to tell, right? If the room layouts have just switched, or if you've been transported to a different spot on the map, or both, or anything. There was no no way to know at all. You were just left in the dark. Literally. Because it you know, the map was blacked out. <laughs> it was so bad. It would probably be way better nowadays, after they changed the way Curse of the Maze worked. Which I did dislike when they first changed it, mostly because it had that fucking awful bullshit where, like, I thought I actually, I thought I was having a stroke, because it would just, like, slide the screen in weird ways. Like, you'd go from the left to the right through a, through a doorway, and then, like, the screen would pan up down. It was so ugly and awful. And then they fixed it, and I still didn't really like it. They added the, uh, like a, like a door kind of sound. I still don't really like it, but eh, it's better than it was, which isn't hard to do. Not a, not a difficult thing to achieve. Uh, I've got it. I'm getting hit so often for no reason on this floor right now, and it's really pissing me off. Stop shooting directly at me! I'm really upset. I very much don't appreciate it. Stop it! I knew it! I, I finally figured out how war works and dodged one bullet. I did it. Are you proud of me, Mom? Stop fucking charging straight up into me when I'm shooting from above you. It shouldn't bump you in that way, you fucking asshole. Okay, yeah, that's, that's two hits. Good one. Nice. Hilarious. Awesome. Super fun. Enjoyable. Good tell as well. Super good tell. It happens three seconds after the bullets come out. It's really helpful. I'm glad it exists. Oh, a deal with the devil. I forgot these exist. Pentagram's not very exciting. I'm just going to reroll it all for a chance at Guppy. Well, not Guppy, but Dark Bomb's pretty damn good. Dark Bomb is probably best case scenario if I'm not getting stat upgrades or Guppy items. I know there's a little Brimstone and I passed because I fucking hate little Brimstone. It's not that he's bad. You know, I'll, I'll, I say this every time. It's not because little Brimstone's bad. It's because I dislike the way little Brimstone makes you play. Makes the run too similar. You know, every little brimstone run is gonna play out the same way, more or less. And that's not exciting. It's not enjoyable. And it's just kind of inconvenient. I really like that I keep taking hits in fucking retarded ways. It's really good. It's my favorite part about this. You motherfucker! If I didn't have Dark Bomb, we'd be fucked. Dark Bomb is my goddamn savior. Holy shit. Oh, it's Greed. Good. I love fighting Greed. Well, okay. Maybe it is actually good that it's Greed. Because now it actually allows us to reroll our item room item. Yeah, 
because there's no other rooms. I don't even really want to reroll it. That's fine. It's not the most exciting, 0.3 damage, but I mean, like, it does give us a bunch of stats, I guess. Again, it's not very exciting, but it's fine. Maybe I shouldn't have taken Cuba meat. Maybe I should have left it there to see if I were able to or wanted to reroll it in the future. Because I kind of wish I, I didn't uh, take it now. But hindsight's 2020. I've always found it kind of weird, the, like, I guess notation of eyesight is, it's so weird, because, okay, the way that I heard it, and this might be wrong, mostly because it involves units of, of distance, um, I guess technically it can be extrapolated to whatever units of distance you require or prefer, uh, but... It's basically 20-20 means you see something that's 20 feet away, or 20 yards, or meters, or 20 gazamples away, as 20 feet away, right? So, 20-20. Right, so that's why vision, the higher the numbers get, uh, the worse it is, basically. So, 20-25 would mean that you see things that are 20 feet away, as if they were 25 feet away. Thus, you uh, have, uh, I mean, I guess you just have bad vision. I, I, I don't know if you can determine nearsighted or farsightedness from that specifically. I think they're, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a way that you could and I can't figure it out, so. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I learned it. And I always found that so bizarre, right? Like, is that not just weird? I mean, I can't really think of a better way to do it. I just find it weird. Oh, maybe I'm just fucking weird. That's definitely true. But yeah, I'm sure that like everybody's heard it as a different way, like, ooh, 20 meters, because we're not fucking filthy Americans who use the imperial system. Listen, I grew up with it. It's what I understand. It's my basis of understanding. I'm not saying it's a good method. I'm just saying that's all I got. You know? Like, I get... I understand metric. I just don't have a basis for metric, you know? I can't, like, look at a house and be like, well, that house is roughly 20 meters tall. No. I can be like, well, it's two stories. The story is about, like... 10 and a half, 11 feet, so I can assume, right? It's just the thing that I, I know, uh, right? It's, that's where my knowledge is. I mean, d fucking feet are downright retarded, but, you know, I get it. It's, that's where my understanding is. Oh, Alright. Alright, well, let's see. <laughs> so, you know, like... Sorry, you fucking elitist Brit shits or whatever the fuck people are calling you guys nowadays to be condescending. Uh, sorry that I don't use metric in my daily life. It's always the thing that people, you know, laugh at Americans for, right? I knew he was charging, but for some godforsaken reason I didn't get out of the way. Yeah, that's like the most common thing to make fun of Americans for, is like, oh, you use a system made of some the size of people's feet. That's not even true, that's a fucking myth, get out of here. But it, I mean, I'm not gonna say that it's pure coincidence that feet are, you know, our feet can quite frequently, like the average American male's feet is generally around a foot. I mean, they're not really, but it's not too dissimilar. We're not talking like apples and oranges kind of difference, but it's, you know, it's not like a foot is a, the length of a foot or whatever. But I'm just saying. System sucks, but it's what I know. Stop yelling at me. I forgot I had a room to reroll. Oops. I missed out on... Oh, yeah. Okay. I missed out on a whole single charge or whatever. How dare I? Or 
Oh yeah, by the way, I just want to say, thank you to everybody who actually watches these videos. I seriously, like I, you know, you've probably heard it a trillion times from me and from, who, you know, everybody else who fucking makes YouTube videos and all that jazz, but like, I don't know, this is, it's such a relaxing thing for me, because it's like, I mean, it's part that it's like a creative outlet, you know? That like, I can be here and like, do a thing that I find appealing and people will be interested in it, right? Because at the end of the day, everybody who does something in a creative field wants some sort of, like, acknowledgement or whatever, right? That's just kind of what you strive for. Whether that's your main motivation or not, you, you do still strive for it. Uh, I should get hit, I guess. That would be the smart thing to do. Let's just pop this here. There we go. Um, so, like, I appreciate that, right? And I appreciate all the feedback, and I appreciate all, all the people who genuinely enjoy watching this. And, I mean, my, my main thing for it is that I'm a kind of person, right, who does a lot of, like, learning about stuff. Just kind of on my own time, I'll just choose things and, like, investigate. I'll watch, like, documentaries and informational videos and all this shit, right? Like, I just like to learn stuff, you know? It's a very enjoyable process. Uh, when it comes to actual learning, not like school quote learning, you know, not that shit. Um, and like, <laughs> I don't really have the most frequent opportunity to like share that knowledge or just bullshit about shit that I know about, you know? I don't really have that outlet in my day to day life generally. And it's partially because I, you know, I, there's not a lot of people that I talk to on a day to day basis who give a shit about it. And it's also part that it's just not, like, regular conversation topics, you know? But I find it very interesting to talk about this shit. And I'm glad that there are... There's this, you know, this outlet for me to talk about it. And you guys seem genuinely interested a lot of the time. And then occasionally people get butt mad about dumb shit that I'm talking about. I fucking... Uh, fix that bug, you sack of fucking shit. Let's kill you first. I really want that bug to be fixed so goddamn badly because it pisses me off nonstop. Because the smart thing to do is to enter a room while shooting so you can get free damage on the enemy that, you know, before even reacting to it. It's the smart thing to do, but fucking this game punishes you, punishes you for it for no goddamn reason aside from it's fucking weird and it makes no goddamn sense. Really frustrating. Whatever. All right. This is this is why you pick up all the books. Boop. There we go. Look at that shit. Um, I don't even actually want any of these. I would want the triple shot, but the thing is, because it decreases your stats, like it decreases your tiers by a pretty reasonable margin. It's kind of bad with Libra. So I, w I generally want to look for things that give stat ups, and not things like triple shot. Um, what was I on about? Some, some creative outlet, sappy bullshit, suck my dick, etc. Something like that. That sounds about right. Hierophant's sweet. Chariot, sure. I'll also take Ghost Baby, of course. Ghost Baby's not bad. But yeah, it, it's just a very, very cool sort of thing, you know? Like, I find it very interesting that a lot of the YouTube culture is based on people sitting around and bullshitting. I love that. It's so interesting. It's just... It's so unique, you know? Because it's like... I don't know. Like, a lot of the YouTube culture, like, a lot of the, um... I guess, let's play culture, if you will. Uh, it's just people doing this shit, you know, what I'm doing, which is just sitting here, playing a game I enjoy playing, sharing the experience, and talking about whatever the fuck I feel like talking about. It's great. It's very enjoyable, very relaxing. And, like, I love watching Let's Plays, too. It's not, 
It's not just the fact that I like it because I'm doing it. It's like, I just love it. Like, I, wa I love watching, like, Game Grumps and shit. Game Grumps is so enjoyable because they're just genuinely funny people, right? Like, Ego Raptor. I love Ego Raptor. Have for ages. That guy is hilarious. And it's so cool that he gets, you know, it, it's almost like... Oops. It's like a watered-down version of stand-up comedy, if you will, you know? Because it doesn't even have to be funny. But it, you know, that's that's kind of the format. Kind of. Ooh. Um, we got some interesting choices here. I'm going to take the Halo because it's sweet. <sighs> Tiny Planet is such an odd one. I kind of want to take it because it gives a bunch of tier height, which I think is tied to Libra because when you get soy milk Libra, your tier height's insane. So I'm going to take it. I might regret it. Looks like it definitely increased all of my stats, which is awesome. Let's go fight a boss. Like, it, again, that's that's one of my favorite things about Libra is that you can just instantly understand if it is a if it was a good pickup or a bad pickup just by your tier rate. All right, this is bullshit. Mama Guidles. I didn't imagine we would get a deal with the devil because we haven't gotten like any ever. Okay, sure. It's Krampus. Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. Not a real deal with the dumb. Although, I do want a lump of coal. That'd be sweet. I'm gonna actually cheese it. Yeah. I'm gonna cheese it, because I really want a lump of coal. Uh, I'm just gonna cheese until I get a lump of coal. I, I can't even reroll, you know? <laughs> My D6 out of charge. I just want a lump of coal. Which I will get. Through repetition. It will drop. I promise. I hope. There was one time exactly where I actually didn't have... I think I only had Lump of Coal. And it only happened once. Every other time, it's it's definitely been mixed. I mean, so far it's not mixed. This, this is kind of spooky. I hope there wasn't like a hot fix to change this shit, so... It, only drops the same one. That'd be such a bizarre and specific hotfix. I almost fucked it up. Mm. Nope. But please, Krampus. I would like this. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Coal acquired. I could actually... Alright. Maybe we do this. Listen, I'm weak, alright? Can't resist. Yoink. Blink. It's good, doink. Bazanka. Blazooples. Taking it all. Alright. Let's go in here, grab that. Well, obviously, actually, let's just do the backtracking now. We can grab the Eternal Heart on the way out. I'm backtracking because I would like to reroll my, uh, Library. <laughs> Let's call it the item room. My library a bunch more. I mean, it's basically an item room. Oh god. Shuckles. The mortal enemy of Tiny Planet. We got there, though. So you may see why I'm, I was very uh, interested in the lump of coal. It's because it's incredible. <laughs> with Tiny Planet. As you create fucking mini star systems to fling at enemies, rather than little tiny meteorites. And not only are they larger, thus they have a larger hitbox, but they also do absurd damage. Okay, so the Gubby's head pickup there is very helpful, probably. All right, well, I guess no harm in getting hit here, actually. No, I don't think. Kind of need to get hit. And I'm taking the left hand over counter for Penny, because let's get hit. Perfect. So now I can clear this room, I'll have a full charge, and everything will be great. Awesome. 
And we can backtrack and grab Spirit Heart here. And there's an Eternal Heart all the way at the exit. Whoops, this way. So we are good to go, pretty much. Gonna have HP capped out. And we're hopefully getting another sweet item. Bleep. All right, I'll take these two. So we do have enough luck that Mom's Eye should be firing every time. It looks like it. It's really kind of wonky to tell, but it definitely looks like it. So I'm gonna say it is properly working. What's my luck at? Yeah, four. Okay, there's no way it's not working. Mom's Eye requires two luck to fire every time. So we're good, which means more bullets and more bullets means more damage, as you may, <laughs> as you may well know. All right, how meaningless. It keeps happening, apparently. Okay, it's a health. It's like a health down, but it's a health up because we have low health. I'm just gonna roll with what we got, though. No more deals with the devil, really, so I'm not too terribly concerned about my health. Um, oh, wow. This is the, okay. So this is definitely towards the exit, more or less. I would like to become Guppy, though. Guppy would make this run go from really good to absurd. Here we go. Nope. No, thank you. Like, look at this. We're, we're just obliterating all the enemies that we come in contact with, which is awesome. But they do want Guppy just because it would be even awesome. Rip, 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 rip. Is that just straight up guppy? Yes, it is. How phantasmagoric. Have I, I've definitely talked about it before, right? How I like to take the beginnings of words that people use and, like, you know, in the context that I would use those words, for example, when people would use fantastic. I would take the beginning of Fantastic, which would be Phantasm, or, well, it would be Phantaz, probably, Fanta, whatever, right? Take that and just use a different word with that beginning in the context I would use Fantastic. So, for example, if somebody says something like good, I'd be like, Phantasmal. You know, that sort of thing. Just a little, nice little thing to do, you know? It's a weird, it's a weird little quirk. I find it very interesting. I mostly do it because the reactions people give are like, what the fuck are you talking about? Tears Up is awesome. Paralysis is not quite as awesome. Tears Up is so good. Can't even be upset. Ah! Yeah, the reactions people, <laughs> people give when you say phantasmal in the context where you'd expect fantastic is just like what and then there's that smart ass who's like that's not phantasmal i know what phantasmal is i know my definitions of fucking stupid dumb words that's me by the way that's my own impression of myself my parody of myself <clears throat> all right we're at the chest just looking for like a soy milk. Oh, I brought the left hand down. I'm retarded. I I have severe issues with things. How do I do this so much? It's not even that often, motherfucker. Oh, oh my god. It's not even that often. It's just happened a few times recently. I want it. It's horrendous. I've made a terrible decision. PhD is nice. Pheromones is not. Alright guys, I may have killed the run. <laughs> this is just more interesting this way, right? <laughs> Wouldn't it be just so boring if I just won every run so easy? God, I'm retarded. I've done this before, too. 
Monster's Lung does not like to cooperate with Tiny Planet. They do not like each other at all. Which is so bizarre, too. Because, like, it should give enough tier height that they should be cooperating. But it doesn't. Like, it kind of does. You can see a few tiers are just, like, massive height and just go in ham, you know? But most of them just, like, peter out immediately. It's awful. Sure. It's more shot speed. Makes it even harder to hit. <laughs> Thanks. Jesus. I mean, when, you, when your stats get to ridiculous levels, Tiny Planet Monsters Lung actually cooperates incredibly well. But... At the stats we're currently at, we're not, you know, we're not, it's not insane yet. It's very good, but it's not insane yet. So that's basically where this, this whole build is breaking down. <laughs> In a not good way. Oh good, good Carrion Queen. Great enemy to fight, especially when I have hardly usable teams. <laughs> Fucking kill me, please. End my existence. Alright. Where are we going? What are we doing? Let's play with you. It's here. Dark Bomb, I'll let you grab it. And let's go. Oh, cool. You actually had pay already. Huh. I didn't think you did. Bloop. God, fuck off. Fag off. What was, what was that accent? What, what did I just do? Wait. Hang on. Excuse me. Pardon me. How did I just get the monster manual? In what way is that possible? Okay, let's talk about this. I got item room items in the library. Thus, the library pool was emptied. However, monster manual is part of the library pool, as I have gotten it in the library a few times in my day. So how in the fucking shit do I get it on the chest after emptying the library pool? Excuse me? I am so fucking lost. I thought I understood this game. And now I'm just confused. <laughs> That's so bizarre, actually. That's so weird. Alright, well, I guess that's it. Let's find the boss. Blue, blue, blue. God, it's so hard to actually just jam your face into the enemies sometimes. fucking die. I want you dead. Thanks. I'm gonna backtrack though. Get my one last reroll in. See what it is? Probably nothing. Yeah, of course it's not. Well, excuse you. Little Chad Duck Bum is such an incredible combination. I just can't lose the run. Well, I already won it, so get out of here. Alright, well, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh... Another one of those just nice, nice chill. Chill Isaac in the morning. Featuring your host. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.